Yeah, so Joel fell out with me over the summer because I kept watching too much football. Oh, it was just, it was a lot, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? If any of you watch football and you don't like it, you're like, it's a lot. Like, I'm fine one game on a Saturday when it's every day and sometimes twice in a day. Yeah, that's, oh my that's gosh. how tournament football Literally, works. Literally, un- unalive me and, right now. And he was like, you don't even like football. He doesn't. I don't. And but he doesn't even like rugby, shock. I do. You I like do it like, live. You don't like watching on TV. I don't mind watching on TV. But, um, you know, I'm a connoisseur. Anyway, uh, so, anyways, but so. What, what got me watching it was just in case I could hear my own voice on the TV. Because like, that never gets old, guys. I will tell you, like, when I just hear my voice on TV, I'm like, I, I can't believe that's me. I can tell you that listening to your voice does get old <laughs> quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the first time that I got a Dove campaign, it was on TV. It came on TV and I was sat watching it with my parents and I, I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, I'm just going to wait and see if anyone says anything. And mum was just like, what? And I was like, have you listened to this? And she was like, no, what? Because Joel's voiceover voice doesn't sound like his. No, it's not. It's not this voice. Social media Joel and social media Joel's voice is very different to normal Joel's voice, which is very different Do to. Do as a Dove for men voice- now. I, I can't remember what don't I said. Lie, don't no. lie. You absolutely. <laughs> I'd launch. I wish I knew it so I could launch into it for that. Um, no, it was something like, um, oh, I can't because I haven't got the script. 24 hour moisturizing. Da, 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 da. Okay, go on then. Just make it up. You can um, say any words. <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. Uh, imagine if I did that in the booth <laughs> in front of the director. Not I'm fire. Embarrassed. Not fire in the booth. Um, something like. Um, Duff for men, 24 hour moisturizing action with. I can't even do it. I can't do it seriously because you're looking at me like I'm a twat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Jessica. Um, but that's the joy of my job. Some people think I'm professional. Other people think I'm thick as shit. Other people well, just you, think I'm normal. What would you do if chagrin came off? Chagrin. <laughs> on. Oh my gosh. I once did a campaign for Marie Curie, the cancer charity. Yeah. I didn't know it was pronounced Marie Curie. So I was saying Marie Curie. (laughs) 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 So I was in the booth with all the people from Marie Curie, the director, everyone, and did a first read through. And I was like, for Marie Curie. And they were like, that was great. Um, can we just do a check on, it's pronounced Marie Curie. And I was mortified. Because as soon as I heard someone say it, I went, oh, of course it is. But I just saw the word, because it's spelt like the name Marie. Yeah. So I was like, Marie Curie. <laughs> <laughs> that so is it does brilliant. happen. That is brilliant. Yeah. I mean, my sister said um, that she'd archived something. Oh, yeah. Archived. That was brilliant. <laughs> Archive. And I just go how did you survive this long, babe? Not knowing that. And the same with me with with other things that I just go, how am I in my 30s? And I've pronounced that wrong, but Archive, that was, that was brilliant. Archive, yeah. She kept oh, calling, remember. she kept calling um, Bechamel sauce. Be- Bellamesh. Bellamesh. I was like, you're not even getting the, the, the words in the right, the right way around. Um, Wasn't there a word you said the other day that had a word for if you got words mixed up or... No, that was if you for sayings. If you got a saying wrong, it's called an egg corn. Egg corn. Yes. So it comes from like a misunderstanding of a of a word. So, for an example, people say tender hooks, yeah. and it's tenter hooks, yeah. right? So that is an example of an egg corn. So an egg corn. It, they, apparently, kids. I've never heard this, but apparently, kids call it here a corn. The, oh, yeah. and, and because it looks like an egg, they go, well, it must be an egg corn. It looks yeah. like an egg and it's a bit corny. Yeah. So they call it an egg corn and yeah. it's an egg corn. So it's like a, a mishearing, like when people, um, the, so uh, there, there was a few, there was an article about this the other week about the, the most used ones in um, in in the UK. Ten, tender hooks was one that people say tender hooks. Also, people say dullers dishwater. Yeah, the saying is it's "dollars ditch. ditch water." Mm. Um, there's that kind of thing. You get the vibe. Yeah. Well, this isn't a phrase, but I used to think Tupperware was Tupperware. Tupperware. Well, I have a story about Tupperware. <laughs> 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 so for you, <laughs> my mom used to sell Ann Summers stuff. Ooh. <laughs> so she did. They and and this was a thing in in like the. Was it in like the nineties, early early two thousands, maybe late nineties, and women would have Anne Summers parties, 
Okay. So a group of women would get together and they'd all have a few drinks and then so, and, 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 and Summer's representative would come round and sell. Can I just say, my mum did this, but with plants. Okay. Like had a party with plants. So I like that we had very different uh, uh, upbringings it, there. Your mum's was Nan Summer's right. My mum was selling no, fake my, plants. No, my mum wasn't. No, no, no. Uh, but a representative. Your yeah, mum hosts the party. No, yeah, well, no. Jane down the road would okay. host the party and they'd say, oh, Wendy does, she's an on Summers, like an Avon lady, but yeah. for on Summers. And they'd say, oh, Wendy's is an on Summers. So she'll come around, she'll bring a bag of tricks, like all these different dildos and vibrators <gasps> and all sorts of stuff that people could buy. <sighs> um, I don't think, they weren't doing anything. They were just getting them out. They weren't <laughs> using them on each other. It wasn't I'm sure a, they demonstrated. It wasn't an object. Well, they, I think, my, I remember my mum saying, if you put a vibrator on your nose and it makes you sneeze, then it's a good one. How old Not are you used when she said vibrator. that? Oh, far too young for her to be saying that kind of stuff. Wow. Um, so, people used to have on summer's parties, right? <laughs> this is my point. Tupperware. <laughs> yes. So, obviously, I knew what what was being sold at Anne Summer's parties and what these things were being used for. Mm. So, when I heard someone was having a Tupperware party, I thought Tupperware was a rival brand <laughs> to Anne Summer's. <laughs> I mean, this is how young I was, right? <laughs> so, I thought, oh, when people say I'm off to a Tupperware party, I'm like, I know what you're up to. 